Uh, speaking of going on the, on the road. Yes, uh, Drake on the road. And we you know you told you about the uh, $3 million of jewelry that was stolen from him. From his tour bus. From his tour bus. Uh, they have found the suspect, uh, nailed the guy a, a few miles away from the arena where it happened. He was on campus at uh, Arizona State University, which Harvey <laughs> finds hysterical. Uh, it is a fine, upstanding institution. I didn't say institution. it wasn't. <laughs> the guy was probably there <laughs> trying to... To fence jewelry. To fence the jewelry. Um, but uh, police... <laughs> police <laughs> nabbed him, uh, and yes, they got the jewels back. So all's good. And I remember this wasn't actually Drake's jewelry. Uh, what cops were told is that it belongs to his DJ. What cops were told? Yes. Future, that it belonged to his, future the $3 Brits. million dollars belonged to the DJ. Yes, exactly. So uh, we got Drake now. He's now performing in L.A. Uh, we got him out after his show at Staples Center. We asked him about the heist. Uh, check out his confusion. Drake, what do you have to say to guys that robbed you? Oh, man. Nobody man robbed you. Huh? Nobody robbed you. Well, they got that man arrested, you know what I mean? Say so what? They, they, have, they have that man arrested. <laughs> So, so he's a, being a stickler for the details. Uh, uh, yeah, nobody, yeah. nobody uh, robbed me. Yeah, no, you don't no. want to. You don't want to be robbed if you're Drake, right? If you're right. if you're a big hip hop star, it, being robbed of your jewelry is not a good look. And he says it wasn't his. He says it was the, the DJ's jewelry, which makes him one of the most prosperous DJs in the history right. of concert right. DJ. <laughs> um, hey, hey, I, uh, I got a couple he, of questions. He's saying he wasn't robbed, but look, first of all, I know it wasn't technically robbery. Well, no, no, it was burglary. It, it, burglary, yeah. It, it, but, oh, like, right. He had to make that. That's very. Yes. Distinction. You get robbed. It's, it's a oh, thing. Drake There's a way it, bigger right. distinction. Yeah. And, and that is the point. And if he got robbed, it makes him look softer, I guess, in what you're saying. But somebody got on the tour bus. I don't understand why Drake is backing away from He's that. He's disavowing so, it, but he, was so, but he was so upset about it the night before. He was, in that he, video. he was ranting in the video. Right. Van, help me out. I but don't I mean, understand. Why it's such? Why it's radioactive for him I mean, to say for, somebody listen, walked on my I, tour bus? I cannot speak for Drake. If I was speaking for Drake, I would have way better things to say. <laughs> um, but I just imagine that, like you know, Drake is a very protective guy of his crew and of his image. He has a security blanket around him as far as friends he's known for a very, very long time. He would not want something like this to happen. Uh, to his squad, to his little area that he kind of governs. It's just, it was a bad look for him, which is probably why he reacted the way that he did. So who's Jules? I mean, I, what do you mean? They're, they're, they're future they're the future princes. They're future the princes, Jules, man. Like, you listen, you make a lot of money spending them records, bro. I don't know why you keep questioning future the prince. I'm just a questioning kind of guy today. If he were future the king, would you? Yeah, would, yeah future would you the emperor it? or something like that? Future the pope. <laughs> Hi, this is uh, Javante Bailey. I'm from Orlando, Florida. I just feel as if it's uh, maybe like an ego thing. Uh, you know, he doesn't want it to be out that he was robbed specifically. Maybe it was part of his crew, so he's trying to make he said protect his image. Um, like you know, it's, or maybe it's the thing. Or maybe it's hey, it's only two million dollars. You know, they got two million. Is what it is. And oh, I don't no, know. Uh, you know. Uh, uh, Javante, that can't be the case because he went nuclear when he found out that, that somebody took the briefcase. Yeah, almost like it was his. Uh, we're gonna take a break. <laughs>